Welcome to Wellesley College Television's Riot TV. I'm Luigi Claude. And I'm Felix Jordan. Last Monday saw a record number of students participating in Monochrome Monday. Unfortunately, we lost a number of students wearing white and have been missing in the snow ever since. Wellesley College posted a banner reading, Wellesley supports its transgender and non-binary sibs. They know that claiming something doesn't make it true, right? Otherwise, Louis C.K. would just wear a shirt saying, not a predator. Spog and WZLY recently announced that the hip-hop soul duo Oshun will be headlining their L.Doc concert. This comes at just the right time in the year, as most students during final season find that the one thing they are missing most is, in fact, their soul. And now, a sneak peek of our upcoming blockbuster film. My whole life, I have known one thing. I was meant to be a race car. <laughs> Who knew I would end up here? Howdy, buddy. I see you got a flat. Let me help you out. Where am I? You're in Radiator Springs. Cutest little town in Carburetor County. I've got to get out of here. You're not like other cars, Sally. Damn right, you sick son of a bitch. All you race cars are the same. When was the last time you gave a smoke and tailpipe about the rest of us? Are you done with racing? Will you still compete in the Piston Cup? Jumanji co-stars Dwayne The Rock Johnson and Danny DeVito crashed a wedding in Mexico and serenaded the newlyweds at the reception. The evening went so well that the duo is now marketing themselves as a wedding band called The Rock and the Pebble. Senator Kamala Harris has officially dropped her presidential bid. To commemorate this sad occasion, Riot TV has put together a lovely tribute song. 99 Democrats on the wall, 99 Democrats, everybody take one down, pass it around, 98 Democrats on the wall. And now, Averill on the street. Look, my bitch is all bad, my niggas all real, I ride in dick and some big tall hills, big fat checks, big large bills, run out flip like 10 car wheels, cold ass bitch, I give raw chills. Woo! I was born to flex, yes. diamonds on my neck, I like boarding jets, I like more than sex. Hey y'all, today I'm going to the Wellesley Sex Carnival run by the sexual health educators, the She's. Why did you become a She? Because I, I was always interested in like sexual health education and I was like that bitch who founded like, you know, this high school like sexual, sexuality and gender like acceptance club. Dude. That gay shit, yeah. I wanted to join an org where I could interact with the community. Wellesley College community. Here we are as president my senior year. And I really like talking about sex with other people. Why is something like the sex uh, carnival important? I think it's just cool to like talk about it, have a space where people can like chill out and have fun with sex related stuff. Just because for some people they can be a little bit shy, like behind closed doors kind of thing. But we're just here to be like, you should be proud of it. Like it can be so fun and joyous and like something that you can share, you know? Everyone is educated. It just it decreases all the stigma around sex and all the things that come with it. I think it's really important to create a sex positive environment where especially where queer people feel safe and I feel like everyone here seems to be on the same page about respecting people's boundaries oh, yeah. and asking and um, yeah just not being afraid to ask questions and stuff. The big point of Sex Carnival is to make sex fun right or like show hey. different parts of sex so we have like resources off campus resources on campus and just letting people know that like sex can be fun sex we can can be educational it can be literally anything but in whatever you want it to be and like obviously this year we're going a little rowdier so we have like a ton of like projections so like bodies, we have the beautiful Spog Frog over there with a the strap on. That more people can know about us on campus because I think a lot of first years don't really know we exist until this event happens. Yeah, I'm here representing SAFE, uh, Sexual Assault Awareness for everyone. So yeah, having a good time. So we educate the Wellesley community about sexual assault and violence and interpersonal violence and we also have like workshops and trainings and hangouts and different events on campus. So ENACT is Wellesley's Environmental Activism Club 
and we are here promoting sustainable period products. Reusable pads, Diva cups, which are an option that replace all pads and tampons together. The tampons that are made up 100% cotton, so they don't have any of the toxins that come in most period products. I have my friend here and we're doing condom raise table, which is kind of just telling people like how to effectively or like properly put on a condom. I didn't put on a condom until my first sex carnival. So I feel really? like, yeah, like, and that was literally my first year. So two years ago, I was like 18 year old me putting on a condom for the very first time. I've still never put it on a real penis, so. Yeah, I had the cucumbers in eighth grade. Yeah, I didn't. Catholic school, baby. So first we're gonna take a condom and we're gonna make sure that there's air in it. So we're gonna press the middle down and you can kind of see like the air moving inside. Then we're gonna check the expiration date. It can either be on the front or the back and this one says expires 2023. So I'm like, that's good to go. We're good to go. Good to go. I'm gonna open it not with my teeth because I don't really wanna break it or puncture it in any way. And then when she comes out, I'm gonna say, okay, cool. She's gonna look like a little witch hat. And to how I make sure that it's the right way, because there's like a right way, wrong way to how easy it can go down, I'm gonna put it on a finger and I'm gonna see, okay, it went down a little bit, so this is the way I'm gonna do it. And when I'm putting it on whatever phallic object I'm putting it on, I'm gonna hold the tip with one hand and with the other hand, I'm gonna roll it down. So it's gonna look like this. Yeah, beat up, yeah, beat up. And then here you go. And you got a little room for air for whatever comes out and just safety. And when you're taking it off, you're gonna put it away from whatever place it was just in and make sure that nothing is gonna leak out. And then when you're done, you're not gonna put it in a toilet because it will clog the pipes. Why do people put everything in the toilet? Sorry, that's such know. a side note. I but like, know. any other sex health education you would like to depart on the Riot TV peoples? No. <laughs> Communication, key. Yeah. Yes means yes. Um, and there are different ways of saying yes. Saying yes with body language. Saying yes with your words. We're not a no means no organization. And um, I just want to be very clear about that. Not only just having someone say yes, but like enthusiastically like, yes. Always pee after sex. Don't take advantage of first years when you're a senior. Hey, hey, don't. The November rule, not real. I thought the November rule only applied if you're a sophomore. Some people think it still applies to them when they're older. And if you put anything in your butt, always make sure it has a flared base. Flared. Yeah. Um, your anus can like suck it up. The vagina is a cul-de-sac, so anything that goes in will come out. But the anus is a highway, so unless it has a flared face. So don't put pressure on yourself to like feel like you have to like orgasm or come or anything because as long as you're having fun doing it, we deserve to have fun and pleasure on this campus. So today we learned that sex is fun, it's sexy, it's educational, it's consensual. Um, shout out to the She's and all the other orgs here um, who help run this event every year. Back to the studio. Pete Davidson is making audience members sign a $1 million non-disclosure agreement saying they won't talk about his jokes after the show. We here at Riot were inspired. Hereafter, any criticism of our jokes in any dining halls will be punishable with a $1 million fine payable by Venmo, PayPal, or Bitcoin. Thanks for watching Riot TV. Be sure to like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter and Instagram. 99 Democrats on the wall, 99 Democrats, everybody take one down, pass it around, 98 Democrats on the wall, 99 Democrats on the wall, 99 Democrats, everybody take one down, pass it around, 98 Democrats on the wall. Orgicators. Okay. So when it comes to whipping, by your impact play, you want to make sure you ask for enthusiastic consent first. We love to see it. And then make sure you hit, I hate saying this word, but the meatier parts of the body. So aim for the butt, the thighs, not the knees, because I'll hurt. Calves if you're into it, angles, probably not. And lower back, also not great, right? So when it comes to a toy like this, a whip, move your wrist in a motion eight. Figure eight motion. And if you want the impact to be harder, you move it faster for more momentum. Um, so you ready? Amazing. One, two. You make sure they're okay. Are you okay? You doing okay? Aftercare. It's important. Yeah.